This is Triton in a nutshell. And Triton is the large moon of Neptune. And it is the smallest of the seven large moons of the solar system. If we see, we have Titan, the moon of Saturn, and uh, Ganymede, Callisto, Europa, and Io, moons of Jupiter, our own moon, and Triton here. And so we know least about Triton because it is so remote, being orbiting the most distant planet in the solar system, Neptune. One thing that is unique among the large moons is that Triton is orbiting in the wrong direction, or the retrograde direction. In other words, all the planets orbit the sun along in the same direction, following the right-hand rule. Well, the uh, um, planets also spin in that same direction. Well, the moon Triton orbits in the opposite direction, and this means that it has an unstable orbit, and it will not always be here. It will eventually crash into Neptune. This is not a stable configuration. It is slowly spiraling into Neptune. And so this is a strong indication that Triton was captured. A, uh, it's a Kuiper Belt object that was on its own orbiting the sun and came too close to Neptune and was captured into this retrograde orbit, which will cause it eventually to crash into Neptune. Here is a nice uh, image taken by the Voyager 2 spacecraft. Voyager 2 spacecraft is the only spacecraft to visit Neptune and therefore also Triton. And we can see that we have the um, crescent shapes there for both the phases. And Triton dominates all of the other moons of Neptune. If we look at, by mass, all of the other moons of Neptune added together form this, this very small amount of uh, mass, and Triton is all the rest. And this is probably, or it could be associated with the capture of Triton by Neptune, because as that happened, it may have caused other moons to have been lost or crashed into each other and otherwise um, lost from the system. So, so Triton is dominating the mass of the moons of Neptune. And there's just not that many known moons of Neptune because, and they're all very small except Triton. Triton has a very thin atmosphere. It's made of nitrogen. So that makes it one of only three objects in the solar system that has a predominantly nitrogen atmosphere. The most dense nitrogen atmosphere in the atmosphere is the moon Titan, which has about four times the atmospheric pressure of Earth and a nitrogen atmosphere. Earth has a nitrogen atmosphere uh, predominantly and 78% uh, and oxygen 21%. Triton has a very thin, mostly nitrogen atmosphere. And you can see right along the edge of the planet where you can see transparent right here. Um, and we can see the atmosphere. And there's also more difficult to see some clouds in here, but you're right along the edge. We can see this very thin atmosphere. It's very thin compared to Earth um, or even Mars or these very thin atmospheres in the solar system. So Voyager 2 uh, was able in a flyby to photograph only about half the surface of Triton, but did so very well. We got a mosaic here. So this is a combination of many photographs and so we have this under high resolution, we can see a lot of detail, but here we can see that there is a very different kind of terrain in this part and a very different area here. And this area here is called the cantaloupe terrain because it kind of looks like the surface of the cantaloupe fruit. One thing that's seen is dark plumes. And if we so, if we blow that up a little bit, we can see that there are these 
uh, these dark streaks that run across um, Triton, and these are because uh, there are vents and the dark gases come out of Triton through these geyser-like vents and uh, the dark plumes then sort of a smoke will pass over and then fall onto the surface and produce these dark uh, patches on the surface. And so, um, so Triton has these geyser vents, it has this activity inside and we can tell that that's the case because it doesn't have the uh, um, surface that has many many craters like we see especially on Callisto even on Ganymede it has some cratering but mostly not much and a lot of what looks more like to be frozen kind of lakes and uh, and features that um, can, or can be thought of as more like uh, tectonic kind of features as uh, ice is end up crashing into each other. So the surface of Triton is young, it is complex, and we, we can see these fault lines. There is uh, some ice that is crashing into each other. The surface is ice and uh, not really any rock on the surface, although the uh, moon is probably something like half rock and half ice, more or less. The surface is really completely ice, apparently. As we can look closer at this cantaloupe terrain, this is a false color, but it allows us to, to see a lot of the details, the complex details of the features uh, on Triton. So we have this cantaloupe terrain looking up closely, and we can see that it does um, have a lot of these kind of features that make it look like a cantaloupe surface. But when we look uh, really close, we can see that that's not at all what we have. We have what looks to be pillars of ice, pillars of ice uh, forming kind of mountains of ice here, if you will, and lots of crevices and, um, and, and these areas, which again look like sort of like frozen lakes here that are more much more smooth than the other areas. And so it really looks like a lot of ice and uh, again, very few indications of craters, although that's what these kind of things may be hiding underneath. Just a little bit more closely, pillars of ice here in this zoomed in image. So the internal structure of Triton on the surface, we'll start on the surface here, the methane and a nitrogen ice. It's very cold, so nitrogen is in the form of ice and methane also, and this would form a, a top layer. Now water ice is a big constituent of Triton and it's frozen down below the methane and nitrogen ice. So it forms kind of a frozen mantle here and then a big rock interior, maybe some mixture of iron, but, um, uh, and it's very possibly a, an iron core, but it's difficult to tell. We don't have enough detailed studies to, to give us that informa much information about Triton's internal structure. We only have the one flyby of Voyager 2 that flew by Neptune and also took pictures of Triton. So that is Triton in a nutshell.